Hey, welcome back and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at Poppy's power crystal and the awkward interview that she had on uh, Beats Radio 1. It's very interesting and we'll talk a little bit about what happened to the Computer Boy YouTube page. It's gone, but where did it go? We've got some mysteries to figure out. First, we're going to take a look at this uh, interview. I had this sent to me from Hollywood Mayhem here. Uh, let's listen. Zane Lowe's world record. There's an artist right now that's currently occupying a fair amount of interest on the internet. People who watch her videos know her people. It starts to get awkward near the end of it, though. <laughs> Wednesday, good. Okay, excellent. Uh, is there going to be a band? You can buy tickets on Wednesday. <laughs> Poppy.computer. Right, good. good. And will we be seeing a human being or will this be some other type of life form? You can buy tickets on Wednesday. You can buy Wednesday. tickets on Wednesday. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Poppy, the brand new... He's kind of get. It almost seems like he's kind of getting frustrated. He, he's definitely gotten awkward. He's she's repeating over and over the same thing. So he he probably hasn't had this happen to him before. Let's see how he he ends it off. Record is called Interweb. No doubt it will feature as part of a forthcoming tour. And apparently you can buy tickets on Wednesday. I love when they let me talk to people. <laughs> All right, Poppy, today's world record, interweb, up on Apple Music. Um, what do you think about that? I'm not feeling very I'm well. I'm not feeling very well. Something feels funny. Something feels funny. Okay. <laughs> okay, all right. He's just like, he's just like, okay. okay. All right. So that did make for one awkward interview. And we already know that Poppy is going on tour. We did, we did the video on that before, and you can figure out the dates and times on that. So let's go ahead and look at the power crystal. You guys were like, gotta check out the power crystal, Ripsy. Like, gotta check out the power crystal. <laughs> Are you ready to activate the power crystal? Let's go. Go. <laughs> when she started shaking her hand, that my my exact thoughts were. Go. You have deactivated the power crystal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This does leave some questions. I can see why you guys wanted me to check this out. What what the hell is a power crystal? What is this? Do we have anything in the description of this video to What is this power crystal? What kind of magic does it hold? Dear God. That's what I wanna know. Mm. This is this is a mystery in itself. I literally can't draw anything off of it. Uh, is it, is it, could it be an Illuminati symbol? Ah, oh, I just don't know. Let's go to Google. We're going to type Illuminati Power Crystal. Illuminati Power Crystal. Uh, the Dark Crystal is the first thing that pops up. The Dark Crystal was a Jim Henson production. Okay, that didn't... I don't know. Crystal, spe Crystal Spears of the Illuminati. What is this? It's a book. Crystal Spears of the Illuminati. 700 years ago. What does this mean? Crystal Spears of the Illuminati. 700 years ago, religion made much more sense to people than it does now. It was part of a coherent worldview linking all knowledge of the world then available, including science and cosmology of the time. Crystal Spears of the Illuminati. I don't know what this means. I don't know if this is connected. I have no idea. I don't know. I cannot draw a conclusion. Do you know anything about the Crystal Spear? If you know anything about the Crystal Spear, hit up the Repzilla Twitter. The DMs are open. You can just tweet it and you've seen that fly. I, I do want to point out something. This is off topic completely 100%. Now, the, I went out to get some, I guess, fly strips because there's gnats. And there's like an epidemic going on because they were sold out at the three at three stores that I went to. Three stores. But I ended up getting them. And uh, they're doing the job, but I still see some gnats around here. But fear not, it will not stop me. A lot of you guys wanted me to talk about the, uh, the uh, Computer Boy YouTube disappearing. Well, let's go check that out. I had a couple tweets. Got one here from CTH103, Ripzilla Rip Computer Boy. The channel was closed and no is no longer available. That is the evidence that the 
the computer boy YouTube is down. Why? Why is it down though? What happened? I do have a theory. Now, I, I pay attention to my YouTube channel quite a bit. And if I go over here on the right side in related channels, we got Poppy, Titanic, Sinclair, Charlotte Vivo. There used to be Computer Boy. There used to be a lot of other uh, YouTube channels. Team Poppy, different ones. There was uh, The Plant. There were different things like that. They're no longer there anymore. They are not. A, they're out. So what happened to these YouTube channels? It's obvious that they no longer exist, but why? Now, I don't know if you've noticed, but over the past week, not only have these channels went down, and they were smaller channels than mine, but I've had uh, false privacy claims and false claims and false copyright claims and many different things coming at me in, in a lot more frequency. Uh, this feels wrong unless I have this with me. <laughs> in a lot more frequency. Uh, th my theory is that uh, maybe possibly the same people that are sending false strikes towards me did it to every one of the other channels except for since I'm a bigger channel um, I was a I'm able to get around stuff like that but the smaller channels they probably don't have uh, the knowledge equipped to deal with things like that and I guess they just went down they're gone they're not a they don't exist anymore uh, I guess I guess that's just it, such as life uh, as far as the power crystal goes it could have something to do with Illuminati symbolism I'm not 100% sure I'm going to have to look more into it but while I'm doing that you can look into it with me and send me any information to the Repzilla Twitter as well as the <coughs> Twitter DMs are also available and the awkward interview with uh, that poppy talking about the tour was very amusing and I think it's just adding on to what type of tour this is going to be. It's going to be a very interesting tour. It's going to be something that you've never seen before. The world possibly has never seen before. Very interesting and something that I don't think that should be missed or a moment missed to talk about. So this is very interesting. But there's always one more thing that's more interesting to me. That's right, you guessed it. I want to know what you think. So why don't you go ahead and leave your creative and or interesting responses in the comment box below. Thumbs up for those likes. And as always, brothers and sisters, I will see you in the next video. Trying to quit the sodas again? Oh, this is uh, tea and lemonade. It's the Arnold, Arnold Palmer the old Arnold Palmer, but you guys stay safe out there and don't forget that this channel loves you.